Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for sixth graders. Our concept is comparing and ordering rational numbers. This is part one. Remember sixth graders, dream big. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. That's by Zig Ziglar. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to request a free 30-minute consultation. We also have our sixth grade star math review workbook available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be alerted to all new videos we upload. So let's dive in and talk about comparing and ordering integers. When comparing and ordering integers that are from least to greatest, that means from the smallest number to the largest number, follow the order of the number line from left to right. So you see our number line and our arrow starts on the far left hand side and we move to the right as we are ordering our integers. Let's look at an example. In our example, we want to order the following integers from least to greatest. Negative 8, 10, negative 4, 2, 0, and negative 7. So let's see what that looks like on our number line and also what the list looks like as we order them from least to greatest. Again, that's from smallest to the largest number. And on our number line, we see that the furthest number to the left is negative 8, and all we do is follow the arrow with the numbers. So our list from least to greatest would be negative 8, negative 7, negative 4, 0, 2, and then 10. That is our list of numbers from least to greatest. Now, let's look at what we would need to do if we were ordering our integers from greatest to least. That means from the largest number to the smallest number. We would follow the order of the number line from right to left. So we start at the far right side and then we follow our numbers all the way to the left. Let's look at an example. We want to order the following integers from greatest to least. Negative 2, 5, negative 4, 1, 0, and 9. So let's see how that will look on our number line. We start with our furthest number to the right, which is 9, and then it's 5, 1, 0, negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so our list of numbers from greatest to least would be 9, 5, 1, 0, negative 2, negative 4. Let's dive into our problem. And again, to follow us along with our problems, you can purchase our sixth grade math review workbook in our store. The link is in the description box. So number nine says, which list shows the temperature in order from coldest to warmest in degrees Fahrenheit. Is it A, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Fahrenheit? Or is it B, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Fahrenheit? C, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Our most important question is, what are we looking for? 
We are looking for the list that shows the temperatures in order from coldest to warmest in degrees Fahrenheit. So then, now that we know what we're looking for, the next question is, what information can help us find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is, how are we listing the temperatures from coldest to warmest? Because it doesn't say least to greatest. Well, in order for us to list the temperatures from coldest to warmest, think about temperatures, okay? Let's say you lived in, we're thinking of the coldest temperatures and up north, I'm in the great state of Texas, up north, that's where it gets really cold. So the coldest weather would be like in the negative numbers or lower than zero, okay? So for instance, if the weatherman said 10 degrees below zero, y'all, we know that is cold, okay? So that's how we know we're going from least, the smallest number, the smallest degrees, the lower the number, the colder it is, but the higher the number, like for instance, 80 degrees, that means that's warmer weather. The sun is out, that's warm. That's really hot, but you know, it's warm. It's warmer than negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So that is how we know we need to order our numbers from least to greatest. And when you're answering questions, just think about what it's asking. Because again, as you see in this problem, it doesn't say, okay, order the numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. It says from coldest to warmest. And you have to just take a moment to think about, okay, if it's saying coldest, are those the larger? Am I going to start with the larger numbers first or the smaller numbers? And again, it would be the smaller numbers because the smaller the number, even in negative numbers, the colder it is, okay? Okay. Now, how do we solve this problem? The way that we solve this problem is we need to compare and order the numbers from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have our handy dandy number line and we've already said that we need to order our numbers from left to right because that is least to greatest or coldest to warmest, okay? And we see that our numbers, we start with negative 10. Next on our list is negative five. And we're just following the arrow, which is pretty easy, right? Next we have after negative five, zero, and then we have eight. Now, based on that information, do we know what the correct answer is? In order for us to find the correct answer, what we're going to do is compare all of the answer choices that we have to see which one lists the number in order like we have on our number line. Is it A, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or B? negative five degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Fahrenheit, eight degrees Fahrenheit. Or is it C, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, negative five degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Fahrenheit, eight degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, D, zero degrees Fahrenheit, negative five degrees Fahrenheit, eight degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Which one of these answer choices shows the same order as we have on our number line? And if you said C, you are absolutely correct. And that is it for our review of comparing and ordering integers. Remember, if you need a math or reading tutor, parents, you can sign up, click the link in our description box so that you can sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Also, we have our sixth grade star math review workbook available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.